Should I go first? Sure, go ahead. Okay, my name is Gabriele Colombro, uh, Executive Director of Finas. Uh, we are the FinTech Open Source Foundation and we enable uh, really all constituencies of the financial services industry to collaborate through open source. Um, we've been operating now for six years uh, and since two years we joined the Linux Foundation, so we are a Hyperledger uh, sister foundation, I would say. Um, uh, We've been really growing in terms of banks, buy sides, regulators, and now fintechs increasingly joining uh, uh, the open source collaboration, which is quite unprecedented. Uh, and if you ask my first introduction to open source, it was about 15 years ago as an uh, open source committer to the Apache Software nice. Foundation. I, it's pretty different back then. Uh, I think I had dreadlocks, if I remember. <laughs> Yeah, I'm so Dave Treat. I, uh, I um, in this context, I, so I founded uh, Accenture's blockchain practice back in 2015. Uh, had and then almost immediately, I mean, it was the, you know, shortly thereafter, uh, spoke with Brian Bellendorf and said, "Hey, let's get involved with Hyperledger." Yep. So I was a founding founding board member with Hyper, Hyperledger, and uh, and one of our, I suppose, one of our main focal points uh, right from the beginning. Actually, we, we we took a look at where were the deepest value pools, the most important spaces to work on. And, uh, and it really came down to uh, digital currency, digital identity and supply chain. And so digital currency has been a focus of ours from the start. Um, my first intro to open source, um, <clears throat> Nobody lets me code anymore. So <laughs> I'm not allowed to. But, but you know, in the in the 90s, uh, I, you know, so I I remember you know using open source, but I think really um, my awareness of of the governance of open source and actually you know what open source projects are um, was really uh, Brian sitting me down and convincing me that Hyperledger <laughs> was 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 the right thing to start. So um, he's a great was, ambassador. That, for that he was the ambassador. Yeah, drew, drew me in from just being a user to. Uh, yeah, helping to try. And you failed to mention you're actually our new governing board chair of Hyperledger Foundation as well. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer. Thank you. Um, Jennifer Lassiter with the Digital Dollar Project. We are a uh, nonprofit based out of the United States that's focused on bringing the private sector together to do exploration of a US central bank digital currency. My first exposure to open source does not date as far back as these gentlemen, sadly, because that's amazing, um, but started in 2012 with uh, my work at the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. Um, and when that agency was opened, it was uh, open source first, and um, we had the first open source policy in any financial regulatory regulator, and we helped support the then Obama administration in drafting the first U.S. federal open source policy for the U.S. government. So it was That's amazing. Great. <laughs> great. Um, Morten Beck, I head up the Swiss Center of the BIS Innovation Hub. The Bank for International Settlement of the BIS has been promoting monetary and financial stability through international cooperation for over 90 years. And for the last two years, we've been doing it uh, through innovation. And we started out with three centers in Hong Kong, Singapore, and Switzerland, and we've just opened up in London and Stockholm as well. And later this year, we'll have a Eurosystem one, and even later one in Toronto. And we also have a strategic partnership with the, the Federal Reserve. So my introduction to open source has really been through the projects that we've been doing in the BIS Innovation Hub. So it's, it's fairly recent compared to the rest of the panel. 